Hello and welcome to another video from Salesberg.com. In this video, we shall be looking at Dell's S2740L 27-inch IPS panel. Starting with the packaging, we see Dell's typically color printed box. The contents included a driver disk with manual, a USB cable, a VGA cable and the power adapter. Stand assembly is pretty straightforward. There's a base and then the vertical column and then the monitor is placed on that. One of the main physical attributes of the monitor is the glass panel which obviously is rather reflective. This glass surface runs from end to end. At the right bottom corner there are touch sensitive positions where the menu features are activated from. The rear side is fairly simple with predominantly black surface with a Dell logo in the center. The vertical column appears in silver, however it does not perform any function such as height adjustment or rotation or anything like that, only tilt is adjustable. The I.O. includes audio out, HDMI, DVI, VGA in, power, then USB in and two USB out. Touching the power logo turns on the monitor. If connected via HDMI, the monitor may be set as default speakers. The image quality is very decent as we would expect out of an IPS panel. The colors are vibrant, although there is the issue of reflection if there is a light source behind. Well, that is not unexpected. And to show comparison, I have the work laptop on the left and the monitor on the right. The monitor in comparison shows much more natural color. Next, let's test the solid colors, starting with black. As can be seen, the black area of the screen is nice and dark. And then the white. The edges of the screen was again uniformly bright. This same pattern is repeated with other solid colors as well. Color is distributed quite uniformly throughout the screen. And now for the gradients. Let's start with the grayscale. For the grayscale, there was very mild separation visible and this could only be seen because I went looking for it in real life this would not be very apparent. For the primary colors, the gradient was very, very smooth. There is almost no separation visible. Text is where things become a bit more interesting. From a distance, everything is perfectly fine. However, if we are trying to read fine prints, fonts 6 points or less, then the legibility becomes a little bit compromised. Now this is primarily due to the fact that this is a 27 inch monitor and has just full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080p. The official dot pitch is 0.311 millimeters. However, the previous monitor that we reviewed, the 23 inch IPS panel, Dell's S2340L, had the dot pitch of 0.265. Therefore, the appearance of text and images were sharper. At a steep angle, there were some ghosting visible both for text and for images. The double images disappear as the angle becomes less and less. So, so far we've seen that this is a perfectly fine monitor at a distance. The color reproductions are good, except some angle issues are present and there is less resolution for the size. Putting things into perspective, any IPS panel with high resolution costs considerably more. 
If Full HD is all the resolution you need, then this is a very good panel and great for gaming and watching videos. If someone is looking for a high-end studio equipment, there are other products for that. There will always be pros and cons. However, someone looking for a budget-oriented 27-inch IPS panel, this can be worth their consideration. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Your comments and suggestions are most welcome. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.